film is one of my favorite mediums. Nothing beats watching a great film like James Cameron's Titanic or Steven Spielberg's E.T. But there's been a trend in the past few years, and I don't imagine that I've been the only one who's noticed it. All of the big movie studios have a giant adaptation of a popular teen literature series, and almost all of them bomb. Why is this? It's not like, it's, the story's already been written, and based upon popularity alone, these aren't going to be obscure films. In fact, these films are potentially so popular that giant actors are lining up to take these roles. Um, an example of this recent trend is in the film Divergent. Divergent had potential, but through lazy screenwriting, it became a generic knockoff and a substitute of the hit film The Hunger Games and the not-so-hit film The Maze Runner. And it's not like the book was a dumb ripoff of the two franchises. It was smart and had an interesting view in society. However, in the film, it was literally the law to be one-dimensional and uninteresting. However, on the other end of the spectrum, there are the insanely good adaptations. And one example of this, of an adaptation that just worked, was the film The Martian. The Martian didn't stray too far from the source material besides the ending. And for the film, that worked, because the main character had funny dialogue that had to be maintained in order for the movie to have the same charm as the book. But there's no rule book to writing a good book to film adaptation. It's more of a case by case basis. And I'm gonna look at what doesn't seem to work. Um, there are three major reasons why stories, why stories are poorly adapted to the, to the silver screen. Firstly, the story has already been written. Screenwriters will tend to get lazy and steal pointless dialogue and description directly from the book. Look, since film is already a visual medium, this style of writing becomes redundant. So instead, of, so instead of describing the action as it happens, simply show it and let the viewer piece things together. But there's a happy medium. No screenplay can be perfect. If a screenplay is too different than its original source material, what made the book great to begin with is lost. Secondly, people will already imagine what the characters will look like. And sometimes, Hollywood won't stay too true to these descriptions. The golden rule of thumb is this. Always get the, author, always get the author's description of the characters from the, for the book. And one example of where this didn't work was in the film Ender's Game. The main character was supposed to be around the age of six at the very beginning of the film, but he looked like he was around the age of 13. Thirdly, a book is a book and a film is a film. They are two entirely separate entities. So if there's a character that you love in a book and it's not in the film, chances are that that character wouldn't work for a film. In a book, you can get away with a lot more dialogue and description. However, film, which I've already said is a visual medium, you need to show facial expressions and landscape shots to keep the, to keep the audience engaged, and thus the cool shots of Mars from The Martian. How, so why should you care? Well, we all actually love books, and we all actually love films. And we despise bad films, films based off the books we love. Hollywood thinks this is the best way to earn big bucks. However, statistics show that this simply isn't the case. This is, and I'm, frankly, sick of being disappointed. A screenwriter can ensure that the movies are just as good, if not better than the books, by doing three things. Firstly, take out, take out dialogue that doesn't work for the, main, for the story and, um, and, and have the setting and visuals work for the story. Th secondly, understand the characters and their motivations and instead of focusing on their Hollywood good looks and marketability. Thirdly, and this is by far the most important part is to include the author, or so that their vision as a, is to include the author as a screenwriter or consultant for the screenplay, so that their vision is preserved. Um, this is important to me because I love watching movies, and I want to see the books I love be made into films I will continue to love. This, this is. 
this will create more readers and more jobs for authors. A recent study from the University of Victoria shows that 65% of all adults will not pick up a book again after post-secondary. However, if Hollywood is making good book-to-film adaptations, strangely enough, perhaps more people will be inspired to find, to find good books, to, ask those, to read those good books, and to ask for those books to be turned into successful adaptations. That will, in turn, not only earn the studios a Oh, big bucks, but also the great authors of these books and a whole new legion of fans.